hello everyone and welcome again in a new video tutorial as many friends of our channel requested to us today I'm going to show you how you can repair a hard disk or a USB key which is showing the raw error R A W so basically R A W error or raw, raw hard disk or USB it's related to an error because uh, and this error is due to you are not turning off the computer from from the button here and pressing power shutdown you are just pressing the computer button and this is accumulating errors on the hard disk and in the end the hard disk is not working anymore for external hard disk you are just plugging it out without pressing here and clicking the button and saying eject store for example or ejecting hard disk so you are not no, are not ejecting your stuff safely that's why and with time it accumulates a lot of error and in the end your hard disk or your usb whatever it's not usable anymore and you are encountering a lot of problems uh, please while watching this video what we're gonna do now will will make you lose all the data which is regist which is saved in the hard disk or in the usb so please make sure if you want to do this and to lose the data but get back the hard disk or the usb or the reverse so if you if you don't want to lose your data don't do what i'm going to do now so what we're gonna do we're gonna just go to as you can see i will show you uh, when i click on it it says please insert a disk into anarchy uh, it's the name of my usb so it uh, by the way it doesn't matter if it is FAT32 or FAT or it's NTFS it doesn't matter so you can apply the same solution for all of them so all what you need to do you go to your search tab on Windows 10 Windows 7 Windows 8 or Windows XP and you type CMD and you press here run as administrator and this is will open the command prompt for the people who they have Windows 10, they can do it faster by just clicking the Windows sign with X, with the letter X, and here you can choose Command Prompt Admin. Now we're gonna start our our work. So we're gonna we're gonna start a disk. We are typing disk part, and we will need to wait a bit until to see disk part with this sign now we can type the comment which we want and we're going to type list disk this is to give us if the if the computer is able to read the usb even if we don't have access to it or not as you can see my usb key it's three giga it's 3000 megabit so i will select a, that that's actually my my usb so basically it's available but i cannot use it so i'm going to go back again to search tab and they're going to type disk to open create and format hard disk partitions we're gonna click with the right side of the mouse on it sorry we're gonna click by the mouse on it and we're gonna open it there is two possibilities either my USB is offline or it's online if it's if it's here offline if it's written offline you need just to press with the button and it will show the option to put it online do it However, if you have it online, then don't click here. Just come here, click and with the right side of the mouse and choose new simple volume and click next and leave all of this by default and select next. Assign the following DV drive letter. It doesn't matter. Choose whatever you like, F, G, J, Q, whatever you like, or you leave it by default and you click next. Here I'm going to ask you to select FAT32 to be to have your USB compatible with all the version of Windows and we're gonna give it a nice name for example Rose or whatever you like and we're gonna keep perform a quick format and you're gonna click next so here we have as you remember here it showed that the USB key or the hard disk which I put in it's disk number one so here we're going to check again to compare volume type simple volume disk selected disk one so it is matching 3820 megabit so it is almost matching with small discrepancy and drive letter which going to be assigned to this 
to this USB or to that hard disk, it's F. And the file system of formatting, it's F FAT32, which is compatible with all systems, including Windows and Mac and Ubuntu. And here you have allocation unit size by default. The new name of the USB will be Rose and quick format, yes. So everything seems to be okay. We're gonna click finish. It, it, it might take few moments, a few seconds, or maybe a few minutes if you have a big hard disk. If you have a hard disk which is like two, two terabyte or one terabyte, it can take longer. As you can see, here I have uh, three gigabit, 3000 megabit something, and the, the name of my new USB is Rose, drive letter F, and it is fully working without any problem. I hope this video guys was very useful to you. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna just close all of this and our USB is working. If you would like to taste it, to test it, sorry, you will just copy and we're gonna just put this here and just close, uh, sorry, go to this PC, click on, and yeah, the file is here, as you can see. And for ejecting in the future USB or hard disk, first, for turning off your computer, please make sure next time to press power off, shut down. And if you are going to, if you have an external hard disk or USB, please click here and click eject safely so that you can remove your USB or your hard disk without any problems and to not have the same problem again. I hope this, this video was very useful to you guys. If you like it, you can share with friends and you can subscribe in our channel to receive the, our latest video and you can press the little button of like so that you encourage us to do more. Thanks a lot for watching everyone, thank you.